Hey everyone, Pastor Tim here from the Church at West Shore. Welcome to our daily devotion and prayer time, August the 16th, 2024. Happy Friday to everyone. And we are in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 today. Here's what the Apostle Paul says to the church at Thessalonica and to us. Finally, dear brothers and sisters, we urge you in the name of the Lord Jesus to live in a way that pleases God as we have taught you. You live this way already and we encourage you to do so even more. For you remember what we taught you by the authority of the Lord Jesus. God's will is for you to be holy. So stay away from all sexual sin. Then each of you will control his own body and live in holiness and honor, not in lustful passion like the pagans who do not know God and his ways. Never harm or cheat a fellow believer in this matter by violating his wife, for the Lord avenges all such sins as we have solemnly warned you before. God has called us to live holy lives, not impure lives. Therefore, anyone who refuses to live by these rules is not disobeying human teaching, but is rejecting God, who gives his Holy Spirit to you. But we don't need to write to you about the importance of loving each other, for God himself has taught you to love one another. Indeed, you already show your love for all the believers throughout Macedonia. Even so, dear brothers and sisters, we urge you to love them even more. Make it your goal to live a quiet life, minding your own business and working with your hands, just as we instructed you before. Then people who are not believers will respect the way you live and you will not need to depend on others. So Paul gives some very specific instructions to the Christians in Thessalonica. First of all, he says, live holy lives. Now the word holy is often misconstrued. We think of the word holy and we think of something that is pious or perfect or um, just something that is not attainable. But the actual meaning of the word holy is to be set apart. The Bible refers to Jesus as holy because he was set apart for a specific purpose, the purpose of sacrificing his own life for the sins of the world. So we're called to be holy. That means we've been set apart for something as well, to proclaim the message of Jesus, to make disciples. One of the big stumbling blocks that Paul saw in the church at Thessalonica, and I would argue still is a stumbling block, is this obsession with sexuality. Paul encouraged them to be holy and to live lives that are pure, because when we live lives that are impure, it distracts and it takes away from being set apart. So he encouraged them, stay away from sexual sin. Secondly, he said, love one another. He said, God showed his love for us by sending Jesus. And he says to the church there, I know you love one another, but he encourages them, do it even more. For us, that would mean loving those that we disagree with. Isn't that the craziest thing that in our culture, you, you can't be friends? You can't love somebody that you disagree with. Paul says it shouldn't be that way. Love even more. Then he finally says the third thing in this passage. He said, make it your goal to live a quiet life. And I love this, this next phrase, minding your own business. What he says there is worry about yourself. Make sure your life is in order. Make sure that your house is in order instead of butting in to everybody else's. Stand up for what you believe in, stand up for truth, stand up for what the word of God teaches us, but start with your own house, start with yourself. 
we're often way too more, way too concerned about others than we are about ourselves. So Paul gives some specific instructions here, and he concludes it in verse 12 when he says, then people who are not believers will respect the way you live and will not need to depend on others. He said, if you want people to respect you, be careful how you live. Live according to the word of God and let him work through you. Let's pray together. Father, thank you for, once again, these wonderful words from the Apostle Paul that give us some specific, direct instructions for life. Help us to adhere to them. Help us to abide by them. Help, help us to allow them to guide our lives. And we pray this in the name of Jesus, our Savior. Amen. Well, have a fantastic Friday. Until next time, and as always, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. And may you fall just a little bit deeper in love with Jesus today. Take care. May God bless you.